the dinghy um, because uh, I've been doing all the rest of my month on team but I want to finish it off today so yeah basically folks here we are Saltash July 28th 2015 on the home mooring soon we'll be setting sail oosh Captain Ketlog uh, day three and now hopefully you can actually see me and hear me yeah, it's day three. Uh, I'm at Saltash uh, Sailing Club, just under the bridge, at the club pontoon, um, where I'm going to be picking up a shipmate shortly. Not a shipmate, a shipmate. <laughs> um, and this is stunning. It's like uh, it's what I prayed for, basically. Uh, lots of blue sky, just a nice breeze instead of a bloody gale. Um, I'm just going to be. Uh, Chugging downstream today and then uh, hitting the open waves tomorrow. Oosh! Hello, uh, Captain Cat's Log, day eight. Yeah, I know there's been uh, no filming. I thought you wasn't going to do as much filming this year, but I want it to be a bit longer than about three minutes. So, uh, well, it's day eight now. Um, I had a great sail with. Uh, you feel my stomach on me? Don't feel my stomach. I'm not. Got a bit, yeah, Captain Cat's got a bit of a belly eye. Uh, anyway because I've been eating loads of food since the gig on June the 6th. Anyway, um, you had a great um, sail and some lovely weather with Loopy Lou. Uh, went round to the Elm. Um, uh, and, you know, that was Boston. Um, then ca came back, dropped Loopy off in uh, Saltash, um, went up to the mooring um, for a couple of days. And uh, basically, um, it's the best time of the year right now um, because um, Command, Lieutenant Commander CJ Manson on Sunday's aboard and we're going to fly. Fly. <laughs> going to fly? I'm not drunk, folks, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to fly. We're gonna, well, what I meant was we're going to go fast as in fly around to Lou. Um, sail around to Lou. Um, 
Well, the plan is tomorrow, but um, I'm not sure whether the weather is going to be uh, too windy and, and bumpy to actually get out there tomorrow. Um, if so, we'll, we'll, we're going to get the ferry round to the Barbican and uh, just have a nice chilled day there. Uh, but then, yeah, uh, zip round to Lou. We've flown, sailed and now we're zipping. And then uh, my mum's going to meet us there on Thursday and um, take her for a sail. So, uh, yeah. Um, here we have Lieutenant Commander CJ. Hey. How you doing, Kida? I'm all good, thank you. All good. good what do you here. think of the um, your first day back aboard Kahuna? It's very good to be back, enjoying it. It's nice. A uh, bit blowy, uh, windy on the way down. But, um, People wouldn't believe it when, well, the. Yeah. Filming this. Well, well shouted and, uh, here in yeah. the Royal William. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's definitely choppy out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and some geezer. Scratch Kahuna by messing with the mooring lines at the pontoon in Saltash, which did not please me. Didn't. <laughs> and uh, CJ is just having a cobra and a large JD. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going anywhere else today, are we, Kira? So we're not, yeah. Sorry. It's just a chill. And yeah, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to do more filming of scenery and less waffling this year. So when we get out there, show what it's all about. Okay, this letter's from Captain Cat and... Letters from <laughs> Lieutenant Commander CJ. Oosh! Hey. Captain Cat's lot, day eight. We are on a uh, brief dinghy trip with uh, Lieutenant Commander CJ at the helm here on the dinghy. This is going past, uh, this is where they build all the gin palaces. Right here, I hope you can hear me. This is where they build all the gin palaces, the uh, princess yachts. Don't crap on my boat! Oh, we, while they talk. 
perfect. And you're back in the room. Hey, how's it going? Cool. Uh, folks, it's uh, Captain Cat's Log Day 12 and uh, we're in absolutely stunning and beautiful Lou, uh, coast of Cornwall and we would have filmed while we were sailing but it was absolutely manic and I'm um, coming over to Lieutenant C, Lieutenant Commander CJ now to uh, tell you about today's sight so uh, take it away CJ from, from the top from the top, uh, okay well set off about 8am we found out um, first got out it was um, it was okay to begin with I suppose but once we approached the headland it got pretty bumpy or like really bumpy actually <laughs> um, dad said at one point it was up to 25 foot you reckon away. yeah so I think so yeah pretty, there, on some there. pretty big waves um, and some of that side on so it was uh, kind of throwing us over a bit throwing, yeah we were yeah, a bit all over the place. But once we got past the headland, it was um, it was good. Wind was uh, well. It was southwesterly. We were, we motor sailed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, motor sailed uh, on the main. And then what happened uh, when um, Captain Cat decided to get the main sailed down? Um, oh yeah. So yeah. So uh, tried to get dad to get the main sailed down. Stepped on some of the what are they called the woods. The gunnels. The gunnels. Uh, coming down. Yeah, it was proper. Everything was going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but luckily, Dad managed to stay on top. <laughs> Got the uh, main sail down, and then we motored for a bit. We worked out we did sort of a third of it motor sailing. Yeah, and then so we did a third, a third of it motor, and then. And then, so then for the final, the final wind came back round to south southwest. So we, we yeah. So we put the uh, the Jenny out. Um, of course, some some wind. Um, yeah, which was good, and that that, that helped us. Not trying to be quicker. Yeah, yeah. And it helped us to drive through the wave. Yeah, we didn't yeah. rock quite so much to stabilise us, which was nice actually, because I was feeling a bit queasy at this point. <laughs> so that, that helped me. Um, yeah, and then we—I mean, the whole thing with that up as well—it only took us about four hours in the end. Yeah, an hour less than we. Um, than we planned. Yeah. Yeah. So we got here about twelve. Right, the, uh, the, uh, the entrance there hmm. to the uh, estuary. Yeah, they're not far. Um, I'm all up. And uh, Captain Cat parked it on a penny? Yeah, you say? just about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, as Maybe you can see, uh, we're dried out, so we're right at the, the bottom of the quayside, and there's there's the bottom. <laughs> and um, when the tide comes back in, we'll float right back up to the top. But we can get uh, ashore on the ladder there. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, tonight, our plans are what do you think, Killer? So we're gonna have, to have a couple of tipples here while we chill out, and then uh, do a Foster's Lager. Yeah. Uh, head over into Lou, you know, to hit the uh, check out the nightlife, hit the arcades. Yeah. I'm gonna win some games, hit a boozer. Yeah, booze or two. Yeah. And then when we get back, we've got um, various Cornish pasties that we've we purchased earlier. Yeah, yeah a good couple of so, Cornish um, pasties. Yeah, so there you go folks, this is a stunning and beautiful Lou and I'm so glad to be back here. Last time I was here was 1999 with my friends uh, Naz and Anne and John. Uh, so 16 years and uh, this time we're with a good ship Kahuna. So yeah, uh, it's latest from me Captain Cat and it's latest from Lieutenant Commander CJ. There it is. Okay, uh, CJ's log, day five or day 13 for Captain. Uh, today we're leaving Lou, leaving lovely Lou. We're sailing out. Uh, heading back up to Saltash, up the river. Uh, it's set to be a lot less windy today. Virtually no wind and uh, absolutely no swell, really. It's going to be nice and flat. So a bit of a different uh, journey to the last time. Well, I have been for a bit of wind. Yeah, well. Hello. Yeah. yeah. That's the best one for me. Oh, is it? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, hi folks. Yeah, we're having for a beer wind. Obviously, uh, uh, yeah, it will be a motor sail today because it's, uh, you know, we need to get there in a certain amount of time. But um, well, we, got, we haven't got a bit of a northerly breeze, so uh, I think uh, I think we'll, 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 have to, we'll obviously we'll all get the sail and see uh, how uh, we can push us. Yeah. So yeah, um, see Jay can film around there. We can see the, uh, the sea. And then should we do some shutting up and let them see you? Yeah, 
Sounds good. Glad to go out. Okay, we're going to shoot up now, so you enjoy this. Holding up the fishing boat, but so. Yeah. Oh, you still? I didn't switch on the instruments either. Oh, yeah. Do, <laughs> do you want me to do that? Or I can have the tiller. Give us a wave. <laughs> Stunning out here today. Same there's not much sailing to be done, but um, seems to be a year of uh, extremes. Either too windy and bumpy or not. And uh, flat calm, but I don't mind the uh, flat sea. It's a very nice chill journey this is going to be. That a rather pretty uh, building there. You can see that on the top of the uh, headland. A lot of boats out enjoying the sunshine. Uh, we've got a little breeze. Uh, just pushing this lot on slightly faster, probably like a quarter of a knot or something. It's absolutely stunning, folks. The most stunning day out I've ever had at sea. Uh, at least um, that wasn't in the Mediterranean. There you go. We were at uh, beautiful sunny course and we decided not to go straight at the time on today. There's CJ uh, tidying up the main sail, putting the cover on over there. Uh, we've dropped anchor and it's, as you can see, bloody beautiful. Um, stranded lots of other boats coming in and dropping anchor as well because uh, they've all had the same idea on a day like this. Our plan will be to uh, stay here overnight, I think, and head up stream tomorrow morning with the tide. So, uh, there you go. Hey folks, I'm here with CJ and um, we are anchored at stunning Corsand. We decided that uh, 
we just couldn't go past this place today, so uh, we're here for the night. Um, so we'll see Joe will be back in GMG in the morning, but uh, but we'll enjoy uh, our time together today. So uh, CJ, um, so everybody, CJ's lost for the, today's uh, journey. Okay, well, um, a nice, easy journey today. Um, so set off about half nine, was it? And, yeah. Um, very well, virtually no waves at all. Very small, not not very well flat out there. Flat as a, flat as a pond, basically, yeah. Flat as you can imagine, really. And uh, had a little bit of wind here and there. We did get the main sail up. Had the Jenny out. Yeah, we, had, we we actually had both sails out for a while. Yeah, so we, yeah, we did have it when we were motor sailing. Put the Jenny in eventually. Um, yeah, we lost half a knot then yeah. where, when the wind went, but uh, yeah, that's half an hour for that. Um, but yeah, it was nice, just uh, not a cloud in the sky for the whole thing. Yeah, just a few over. wispy ones now. Yeah. But it's like, uh, well I said, uh, it's probably it's been the best stunning uh, day at sea I've ever had, apart from maybe when I was at Sand Greek Islands, but uh, so how do you feel? Uh, yeah, oh, I can tell you, imagine yeah. that must be one of my, my yeah. anyway, it's been very peaceful, lovely sail, just sunbathes, and yeah. uh, took it in turns on the tiller, and that was it. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. And uh, suddenly thought, oh, hang on, there's cool sand. Hmm. And here we are. So uh, yeah, the noise is there. Yeah, we've got we've got the football on, of course, first out of the season. Actually, yeah. And Villa aren't losing, so aren't losing, we're yeah. not winning, but uh, we're not losing. Uh, so yeah, folks. Um, there you go. Uh, there is cool sand over there. Uh, we'll be going ashore later on to the pub for a bit, and uh, then we'll be spending a pleasant evening aboard and. Yeah, enjoy, enjoying this way last night, killer. Absolutely, yeah, making the most of it. So uh, it's uh, Cat Mantra out for now and CJ Mantra out. Uh, Captain Cat's Lark, um, day 18ish. Um, uh, yeah, CJ uh, finished his trip a few days ago. Um, uh, left the Trowbridge on Sunday, today's Wednesday. Uh, I've had a few days just chilling on the mooring. Uh, total detox nest and uh, watching some videos and things. And uh, heading downstream today, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful out here. However, the uh, the forecast on my marine weather app said it was going to be completely overcast and with a strong breeze warning. So that app's just shit. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, wrong more than right this year. Anyway, uh, I need to uh, find a new weather app. But uh, I'm so glad it was wrong because it's uh, a lovely morning. Um, it said on the radio the forecast said it's going to cloud over later. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. There is the uh, forecast behind us. Brunel Bridge, there's Cat 2 and Freddie Mercury. Had a few problems with Freddie, uh, it was it kept cutting out and we weren't sure why at first but uh, I found out it was basically Freddie had a screw loose, uh, just a loose screw on the, on the main fuel pipe and tighten that up and good as ever now. So yeah we're just coming down past the naval area there, there's a what looks like a uh, aircraft carrier in there. Beautiful morning for a chug. Oosh. Uh, cat and cat's log. It's um, the end of day 18-ish. Um, as you can see, very beautiful and serene. There's some ginger cake. Here we are in the uh, Mayflower Marina. That's Cat 2, Freddy. Uh, it's a very beautiful, blissful, serene evening. Apparently all the shit's going to come in tomorrow. Yeah, apparently um, <coughs> forecast isn't good for tomorrow morning. Hello. Um, so I'm enjoying this while it lasts. Uh, this will be the last captain's catch log for a few days because uh, I'm running out of memory card now. So um, yeah, uh, got the laundry done today. Uh, a couple of cups of water, 
got to get some fuel and stuff in the morning and then I'm uh, going to be heading up to the Elm in a couple of days to meet the Admiral, Admiral Matthews, my daddy here, and um, my sis, Commander Bex, and then on Tuesday, of course, uh, Lieutenant Commander Josh, CJ Mantra, will be coming with his brothers and maybe his mum, maybe his granny, so um, anyway, I'll do my next log then, later. Mwah. Kevin Cat's log, day about 30, five-ish. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, there's been a big massive gap. I did some land lobbying. I stayed uh, at my sister's in, the, uh, in uh, Yelmton because uh, the weather was shite. I uh, did a bit, a bit of land lobbying at Castle Mantra and uh, basically, yeah, memory card's really low so I'm just telling you right now we're back in Saltash and um, on Monday, uh, picking up uh, Lieutenant Sergeant for the last cruise of the season. So basically I'm going to save all the rest of the memory for that. So, uh, space. Hey folks, uh, Camp Cat's Log Day 35-ish. Um, there's been a change of plan, and I'm not going to say anything more on the video apart from uh, God bless the Sergeant Mommy. Um, so right now, uh, we are blessed with a fucking beautiful day actually. Uh, and yesterday was as well, and look, there's an aircraft carrier coming up behind us. So, uh, getting out of its way, uh, ASAP. Um, I'm going to try and hang about here and get some film of it as it comes past. Oosh. The boys in blue coming past, they're escorting the uh, aircraft carrier. And it's looming up behind us quite massive now. I think we're out of the way. Certainly hope so. And look at that for a vessel. Well, um, it's been a glorious day. Uh, got here to the Royal William Yard and uh, swabbed the decks and cleaned the mainsail cover. That's why it's not on at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah, got, got the boat cleaned up and she's looking lovely. Uh, looking forward to seeing my sis and uh, her being a bit for a spot of dinner. But obviously, um, missing my uh, shipmate who should have been here. And I uh, just want to say, Sarge, his team on, she's good. Yeah, that's Red Bull. Uh, I don't know, I just fancy some Red Bull. Not exactly having a mad one today, obviously. But anyway, uh, yeah, gonna close this year's sailing with a bit, a bit of an adventure tomorrow. Um, uh, Kahuna and Cat 2, and, and Freddy on the back there, and Bob the Beater under there. Uh, we're gonna go up. Uh, the river liner to a place called Dandy Hole, uh, which I've never actually got to before. Me and my son went up there in the dinghy, and I think we went all the way. So uh, I'm going to go up there. Yes, a Dandy Hole. Who are? <laughs> um, going to go and just check that out and uh, anchor, anchor there for the night because um, it is supposed to be nice again tomorrow. So um, yeah, that is the plan. Uh, so yeah, um, a new place, a new adventure for Kuna tomorrow. So Ustila uh, Ashbidella Zooch. We are motor sailing, we are motor sailing up the Tamar 
I'm going to get up the line and enter Dandy Hole. Anyway, it may say big walk, but it, but it's kind of a big walk just for me. Uh, just uh, today's the first time I've got the uh, mainsail up on my own, uh, single-handed as it were, because uh, basically w when you tap the put mainsail, you have to head into the wind. Uh, so when you've got nobody on the tiller, on the helm, as it were, you know, that's a bit daunting because uh, you just got point the boat into the wind and hope she stays in the wind. Uh, but she did, but I rushed it a bit and I got the uh, wind caught the wrong way around the, uh, I mean, the uh, halyard caught the wrong way around the wind there. Which, you know, because I was like pushing it and stuff. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, there you go. And uh, I am, uh, I mean, I would just sail, but I don't, I don't even want to stop the engine when I'm single handed this time in case there's any problems. I want to try and start it again to get the main sail back down, you know, we're not going to do any boats. So uh, this is my first time single handed raising the main sail. Normally I just pull the Jenny out, as you will have seen on previous films if I'm on my own. So, uh, yeah. And I think I'm going to do it a lot more often and actually sail up the river. Um, and then instead of just chugging, because uh, yeah, it's more fun. If you don't sail, it's a fail. <laughs> well, folks, uh, as you can see, the main sail is back down, and we are now heading up the river liner. Now the boat there. Um, yeah, I used the uh, auto helm. Um, uh, took the sail back down, uh, so that kept her into the wind. So it's just. <laughs> You know, obviously concerned, you've got to be careful on a boat that if she had swung into the, you know, sorry onto the wind while I was up there, I could have been off overboard and she could have been sailing away. So, uh, yeah, also Helm was the uh, ticket for that. Uh, and soon, um, according to the GPS, 27 minutes away from uh, the Dandy Hole location. And then I'll be dropping anchor on my own for the first time. So, uh, yeah. Few firsts on this end of season cruise. Oosh. Well, viewers, um, here we are, and I would say it definitely uh, lives up to uh, the advertising here. It is incredibly blissfully serene here at uh, Dandy Hole. Um, I dropped the anchor. Uh, first attempt, I was in front of that boat and I was a little bit too close to him. So I thought, nah, pull it back up and uh, chugs around to this beautiful spot uh, where there's plenty of room uh, between me and the other boats. Uh, between us. Um, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to chilling here for the last day. I've been told uh, by my sis that uh, upstream there, there is a place you can land in the dinghy and uh, pop to the pub so uh, but it has to be a high tide which is in about, uh, about an hour and a half so yeah uh, by the way kid when we came to dandy hole in the dinghy we didn't <laughs> it's about 20 minutes further but uh, yeah there's not much point in coming here in just the, the dinghy anyway because you just turn around and come back come in here in the big boat and anchor in and uh, chilling out yeah cool so yeah folks um, here we are and um, I'll be back later with Kat's uh, last log or two before the end of this year's adventures. So, see you in a bit. All the uh, little boats are heading off now. There's only going to be a couple of us left soon. Looking for more neighbours. And this guy in front has got a brand new boat and a anchor too close. Basically, uh, yeah, uh, I just ran out of memory card then. Basically, he's. Uh, He's knackered his uh, automatic anchor pulling up system. It's, uh, he's still got the anchor hanging down, and I can just hear clunking when he presses his button. Oh dear! Basically, I was worried he was going to hit Kahuna when uh, he was anchored next to us, but now, uh, yeah, basically, uh, he's broken his brand new boat. What a plonker! But uh, I feel sorry for him. I'm not. Uh, you know, having a go, obviously, uh, doesn't quite know what he's doing. So, yeah, there go all these lovely boats now. Nearly a memory card, so, um, seeing a bit for, uh, 
the last captain's log of 2015. Well folks, um, it's the end of another year's adventure. Um, 2015 has been awesome as always. Um, the weather has finally come good. I mean, actually on this film you think it's always it was always good, but uh, we only filmed when it was good, but uh, this end of season sale has been fantastic. And I'll leave you uh, with a traditional bit of Duran Duran. And uh, 